Okay, we're going to make us a new install video, so everybody follow along. This will apply to both Lenaro and the uh, Nebula build from Zach. Okay, so this player here, and it's what I recommend starting from, has the stock ROM with the Terra Silent kernel. You can use any of the kernels you want, of course, but just, you know, this is coming from Gingerbread. I recommend coming from Gingerbread. Do you, I do not recommend trying to jump from one to the other. Once you go to ICS, I had trouble with that myself. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and boot into the Clockwork Mod Recovery of, uh, of the Terra Silent Kernel with our volume up and power combo. And let go of the power. And I already got the cable on here, but it's not plugged into the computer. I'm just doing that just for simplicity. Okay, and at this point you would wipe data factory reset and wipe cache partition and then go to advanced and in advanced go to wipe Dolphic cache. I just, I mean just redid it back to factory so there's really no point in me doing anything other than the wipe Dolphic and the uh, wipe cache partition. And how I'm not even sure those are needed at this point. So from here, we want to install zip from SD card, choose zip from SD card, and then we're gonna scroll to where we have our, in this case, Lenaro, but it could just as easily be Nebula B1 Final. And we choose Lenaro.zip and install Lenaro.zip. And this first stage here converts to MTD. There we go. And the player automatically reboots. And it will boot back into the new recovery now. And this is the recovery. As you can see, it's got this kind of gray cross-hatched backdrop now. This is Clockwork Mod 6. And we're going to go to Install Zip from SD Card. Choose Zip from SD Card. And we are going to reflash the same one we just flashed, which was Lenaro.zip. And so we click install. And now this time, it's actually going to install. Oh, come on. After you get, after you see the convert converting the MTD, you will see it say now installing, and that's how you know that it is actually installing the ROM. This takes a minute or two. Okay, and now while we're here, we're going to go ahead and choose it from SD card again. And we're going to go ahead for a US player and go ahead and flash the soft button dot zip. There are other ways, if you know what you're doing, you can integrate this into the original zip if you want to. I posted about that already. Okay. And that should have the soft buttons now. And now while we're here, let's go ahead and do our ICSG apps. And we sit back and wait for this to run. See the progress bar behind the text there moving
Okay, and now we're gonna go to go back, and this is where it gets a little tricky with the buttons. You hit the reboot system now, hold down the volume down button, and you reboot in the download mode. And then you come over to your computer. I'm gonna set that player on the counter over here. There we go. Come over to the computer and plug up to one side. I use the right side for when I do an Odin, and I use my left side for when I'm doing Heimdall because I find when you install the drivers that Heimdall requires, it will override the Odin drivers on that USB port, and your and Odin will not recognize your device when plugged into that USB port. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to take the uh, take and flash the Terra Silent kernel because now we're stuck in that boot loop that everybody should be aware of at this point. So we want to just open Odin, you know, right click and run as administrator. Come down to PDA, choose Terra Silent. I've got all of my kernels right here. And we open and then we hit start. And boom. And there's the green and we're good. And so now the player is going to reboot. And it's going to kick back in the recovery here in just a second. And you'll see you'll have all kinds of errors right along here about can't mount volumes and stuff like that. Just unplug from the computer. Scroll down to advanced and select it and then go to reboot download. I always do this unplugged from the computer. I've heard of people having trouble doing it when it was plugged up and they still got the boot loop on the Samsung logo. It seems unplugging it from the computer might help there, so just do it. Now we're plugged into the left hand side of the computer and we're going to come to our Heimdall front end. We're going to go to the flash tab. We're going to browse for our pit, which for me is this one right here. This can be found in Zach Lamone's recovery thread. That's where I got mine from. Everybody should find the one for their device. And we hit open. Do not check repartition like you do when you're doing a recovery. Do not check that. Come over here to add. Then come right here, choose kernel. Then browse the file, which for me is hidden deep in to everything. I've got the Lenaro boot image right here. And we hit open. And then down here we hit start. If it fails right here, that's okay. Like if you don't get that one to a hundred percent climb real quick right there, don't worry about that. Just unplug the device after it tells you that it failed reboot back, force it back in the download mode a second time you'll get the force download mode and just flash again just hit the start again aside from that you just sit here and we wait for it to boot up bring that up into the light it's a bit dark in here And as always, this first boot does take a minute or so. Sometimes I swear it feels like it's not going to happen.
There we go. I just felt a little vibrate. Which means we'll be booting into the ROM here in just a second. Aha. There it is. And English United States start. Come on now. And uh, just set some of this real quick while I'm here. I do not believe these will come up when you do the Nebula build. I know they didn't come up for me anyway. Okay. And we'll skip that right now. Just trying to get through all this crap. Hang on a second. Okay. Okay, and we click OK, and as you can see, I got the soft keys down there at the bottom. And let's just go in through a couple of little things, nice and smooth. This is my first time actually running this particular build. Go to Location Services, GPS Source, and check that right there. I don't know if you saw that, but that light right there was not lit up, which meant it wasn't checked. I find that causes the uh, Google Maps to crash if that's not checked ahead of time. Okay, uh, and uh, just Zach asked me to do a couple little just run through the thing, show everybody. So, and there's my Play Store, my Google Talk, and Google Search. And just the basic round of apps and your widgets. And let me say, this definitely feels a bit smoother than what I've been used to. Okay. And of course, camera. This is what camera does if you can see it when you're on your uh, rear facing camera. And of course, when you take the picture, it's just gray. Uh, let me back that up. You switch to front facing camera. Ah, it crashed this time. That's a little different. But at least it doesn't force the player to reboot. Oh, uh, another tip. Go to settings, system settings. Come down to storage, storage, storage. There it is. Go to storage. Hit your menu key, USB computer connection, and set it to mass storage. That way, your computer will see you, you'll have the USB connected in your status bar here so that you can actually connect and transfer files to your computer. And I think that's probably about the end of my cell phone's storage capacity because I've got it so filled up with other stuff. So I'm going to cut the video here. Bye.